Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, uh, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, crazy trading day. We'll get to that uh, in a second. Uh, before we get started again, we always, like always, we always appreciate uh, everybody's comments uh, and feedback. And we, we love to hear uh, individual trading stories, whether you're uh, whether you are trading the PS60 theory or you're on your own journey, uh, I think it's really, really cool to kind of, uh, you know, to listen to everybody's tra trading journey, everybody's individual, uh, and everybody has their own kind of uh, road to travel. But if you are new to the channel, uh, like, subscribe, share, and we will continue to give us, uh, to give you guys uh, as much as unbiased content uh, we can possibly get to. Before we get to, uh, before we get to the overall market, obviously last night, uh, we talked about uh, the cues. Um, usually, I wouldn't give uh, you know specific specific levels, but you know I gave the price action uh, in the cues. I gave the price action in the spies. Uh, bulls could not hold on to those levels. We'll get hit. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, what we're looking right now is Tesla. Remember we talked about Tesla last night. Uh, I thought there was going to be a scenario that probably sell into the event. And look, uh, it, all all these events are are kind of playing out the same way. Uh, if you guys remember uh, Battery Day, I do. Like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, it was like thirteen dollars on Battery Day a couple of years ago. So I know what it means. Like what it means selling to the event. Uh, AI, I believe the AI event was last year. It was a good event, not for shareholders who bought into it, but for the sell the news crowd. And here we are again. So I'm not listening to the co to the conference call. Uh, it does not make a difference uh, what the investors day are saying. Right, price action is everything right now. Uh, Tesla, and again, by the time you see this video, maybe Elon Musk says something fantastic, and the stock is at 210. I have no idea. Okay, we're, we're not trying uh, to guess uh, tomorrow's closing prices. We're just trying to, again, every single day, taking the data from the night before, which is the close today, and make a feasibility study of what we think is going to happen uh, for tomorrow's session. But right now, uh, Tesla is. Uh, not acting well uh, after hours, again, really doesn't make a difference uh, what he is saying. Uh, after hours, though, you do have some names uh, that are doing well, some mixed results. You got Salesforce up about 13%. You got OKTA, right, uh, having a really nice session up 10%. But, you know, the opposite of CRM, right, the software names, you got Splunk, right, who is not having a great time down 5%, and you have Snow, on earnings as well, uh, down 6.5%. So uh, definitely a mixed bag here in the software space. And the leader of the software space, and I kind of want to uh, talk about that right now, is Microsoft, right? Microsoft uh, has gone through a, a really, really uh, bad cycle, right? Obviously, uh, all the levels that we talked about, 297, 293 uh, on the queues, everything got violated. And now Microsoft's on the 50-day moving average. Uh, and we all know what happens, right? Here's This is what happens when you lose the 50-day moving average, right? Here's what happens if you lose a 50-day moving average. So if tomorrow, Microsoft confirms a 50-day, uh, it could get really, really ugly. But more important, just on Microsoft, right? Look at the whole market in general. So last night, uh, I did the whole video. We've talked about watch 293, 293, 293, 293, 293, 293, 293, 293 right? Watch the 293 at twice. And today, it took out that 293. We talked about the possibility of going down to the 290 level, the 200-day moving average. That's exactly what happened. This becomes a super important area, guys. Uh, again, if you uh, didn't listen to the 297, you didn't listen to the 293, just trust me. If you're an investor or you're a trader, but you're a, you're a long bias trader, you're going to have to listen to what I'm saying. If, if we start losing 290, right, and you can see it now, we've held now 293 separate times, twice uh, in the last four days. So tomorrow will be day five. If we start losing 200 on the close, and again, if you believe in the theory, and that's the whole point, point of the PS60 process, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply to demand to demand, right? So here's the here's your demand, trade it to this demand, the 290. This thing starts losing 290, we go down to 285. I, again, if you are brand new to the channel, the 50-day moving average is kind of a big deal, okay? Anything under the 50-day moving average, uh, you're not going to want to be naked there with your long positions hoping to God that one day that's the bottom of the market and the sellers get tired. 2022 
uh, kind of showed you that 80, 85% of the price action below the 50 day moving average is going to be to the downside. Of course, you're gonna have some up days, the market's not gonna go straight down, but the 50 day is very important. So these are the two levels that you have to watch, especially if you are a long bias trader uh, or you are an investor. Number one, 290, right? Uh, if the bulls finally give up 290, and again, to their credit, they held it three times uh, in the last, uh, since January, right? Since January. So we held that 290 level uh, three times. Uh, we actually bounced off it again today. Um, if 290 gets lost, we are going to get down to the 285.80s, right? You see that? 285.80s, right? That's the whole point. 285.80s, that's the 50-day moving average. Anything below the 50-day moving average, you might as well rip out your buy button. I I'm telling you, it's just kind of the, the, the reality of what it is. And you can just see the sequence of events going all the way back uh, to, you know, to 2022 when we lost uh, the 50-day moving average, right? Here's you lose the 50-day moving average. Well, what happened was a 33% decline in the, in, the, in the NASDAQ. Nobody's calling for that. Again, we, we trade one day at a time. Our, our research and bias and opinion is based on the next day. We don't know what's going to happen a week from now. Hell, I don't know what's going to happen 15 minutes from now. Like I said, we could be having a conversation in Tesla, which is already taking out today's low right now. Uh, but Tesla could be at 210. Obviously, I don't think that's going to happen, right? But anything's happening. Anything, anything will and anything can happen in this market. And obviously, we will be watching for further uh, weakness for Tesla. There's some pretty, pretty big levels, which I unfortunately won't discuss on this video. Before you guys uh, in the webinar, you kind of know uh, some of the big macro levels that are approaching Tesla. But more important is... If Qs fall, everything falls. There's going to be nothing uh, that is going to be spared. I don't care how strong uh, you think your stock is. It's behaving well. Always remember, the stock behaves well for a little bit of time. And we, we, we kind of talk about this nonstop. It's not the sum of the parts. Like this morning, right? Meta was strong. Meta was strong. Meta was strong. Hey, Dan, what do you think about Meta? What do you think about Meta? What do you think about Meta? You know, I kept on saying, let's, let's forget about Meta, right? It's one stock that's standing out. There's 18,000 stocks that are breaking down. We don't care about Meta. Watch the stocks that are breaking down. It's much easier to uh, to, to ride the wave for 18,000 going one direction than one stock going the other direction. What happens ultimately when the queues start getting weak and they start taking down, especially opening range lows towards the end of the day, here's, you know, here's, you know, here's eBay, excuse me, here's Meta, right? It was the strongest stock on the board. It sold off $5 from the high. So guys, always remember, ride the wave, ride the wave of the directional bias. Don't forget about the one stock. I know this isn't the first time we talked about it. Who cares about the one stock that stands out? Yes, like for example, First Solar had great numbers today, right? Absolutely great numbers. I didn't look at this thing once. There was no reason to. Again, why pick, you know, maybe it works, maybe it does, but, but my point is why go against the wave if you, if you, if you, why go against it if you can go with it? And that's kind of the whole point of directional bias trading and trading with the masses, not trying to isolate one stock that's standing out. Why do you need to, isolate that one stock if everything uh, is breaking down. And if you start looking at the main cogs, right, the S&P 500, and especially in the NASDAQ 100, right, take a look. You got Apple, right? Apple is an inch away. If the Apple starts confirming this bottom channel here, man, this thing is toast. Look at Qualcomm, right? Qualcomm is holding on to dear life, the dear life of the 50-day moving average. Qualcomm loses the 50-day it's going to get hit. I'll show you guys some of the pivots today. A perfect example of Zoom, right? Zoom lost the 50-day moving average today, right? Look what Zoom did, right? We talked about Zoom. Look what Zoom did. So the 50-day Qualcomm is hanging on. Uh, Apple is hanging on. Look at Microsoft, right? We talked about Microsoft a few minutes ago. Microsoft loses the 50-day moving average. It's it's going to get hit. There's, it's going to get hit. There's not going to be any uh, point of reference. You have to get hit. Look at a stock like Dash, right? Same thing. It's holding on here. It's holding on to dear life. This thing loses the bottom of the channel. It could get hit here. So it's super and duper important uh, for, the, for the bulls to, you know, to fight, man. It really is. Because again, as much as I love a bull market, and I, and I thought this phenomenal run off this 278 started, and we had a 17% run in the queues. But at the end of the day, for all you guys who have been trading uh, in the webinar with us and trading pivots for nearly... You know, nearly 13 years now, uh, maybe a little more now, almost 14 years now, you kind of know we don't care which way the market goes. As long as there's a trend in that direction, uh, long, short, it doesn't make a difference. And if stocks are breaking down, don't overthink, right? Don't overthink. Uh, don't try to uh, rationalize what's going on. Uh, you know, this is kind of what we talked about. If we start losing the major areas, right? First, the two, to, first the 290 level on the queues, and then ultimately the 50-day moving average. And again, I can't stress the importance 
if you are uh, you know, an investor, if you are a trader, we talk about this all the time. Once we get to close to macro levels, you better figure out how to hedge your portfolio because you don't know how long it lasts. Maybe uh, it sits below the 50-day moving average you know, one day. Maybe it sits in the 50-day moving average you know, 10 months like it did uh, in 2022. So you know, be proactive in your money. Uh, if you're truly a professional and you're aspiring to be a professional, the last thing you want to do is expose yourself with no outs uh, and no course of action. So again, big, big day. Uh, again, coming in for uh, the queues tomorrow and Friday. So that 290 level, etch that into your head. It was 293 yesterday. Now it's 290. Uh, etch into your head and, and have a plan uh, to trade around it if you are especially a portfolio uh, holder. So, you know, as you can imagine, uh, you know, when stocks, you know, when, when, when major benchmark starts breaking down a crucial level, everything's going to get hit, right? Uh, so again, here is the 293. 293 continues to be support last two days. Again, we talked about this level of nausea last night in the video. We talked about it again today. And again, it contested 290 again. You know, Q's, you know, ISM number came out at uh, 10 o'clock and the Q's just got just, just, just smashed. Just absolutely smashed. Here's your, you know, here's your breakdown. The 293 went all the way down. Uh, to 290.20. Again, that's the line in the sand uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session on uh, the video. Again, we had two, uh, you know, we had two uh, pivots last night. As soon as I record, I finished recording the video. Uh, and the video broke, you know, broke that story that they did a shelf at for $10 million, $10 billion. Uh, unlike a $2 stock, that's a big deal when they do a shelf registration. A lot of companies, uh, you know, the video, Amazon, Apple, they always access it, access acts as the debt market because a lot of the money, even the spies of rising rates is still cheap. Uh, and a stock like, you know, the, uh, Apple has a quarter of a, uh, hoarding a quarter of a trillion dollars uh, in cash, doesn't need to access the debt market, but it does. So a lot of these companies uh, do exactly the same thing. So again, here's what, here's where we talk about don't fall in love with the stock, fall in love with the price action. So 239 to the upside, 229 to the downside. We'll be interesting to see if they, they shake it off. The funny thing is NVIDIA actually went green uh, pre-market, but once it started losing that 229 level, right? Once it started losing that 229 level, went all the way down to 225. Again, if this thing confirms, I, think, I still think it goes uh, lower. Microsoft broke down, 248 bills below, can flush more. Here is Microsoft, right? Took down the 48, trading down right to 246 to the 50 day. This 46 falls tomorrow, you got 42, 43. Uh, staring at deck. Uh, again, here's a two-sided trade. Uh, Tesla 201 to the upside, 211 to the downside. It broke down to 201, traded down to 198. Then obviously snapped back. Uh, investors conference starts uh, with Elon Musk speaking. That's exactly what's happening. And as of right now, present day, uh, Elon Musk, whatever he's saying or not saying, uh, Tesla is uh, trading in the 197. It's just traded down to 195 tomorrow. Uh, for all you guys, please come to uh, make sure you're at morning strategy early. We will definitely talk about the very, very vital areas that uh, Tesla, if it doesn't hold, uh, can give us some more uh, downward action. So please get there early. And uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon again, two sided, you know, two sided trade on uh, 94.80 to the upside, 92.30 to the downside. Not a huge move, but uh, Amazon does not look great. They were coming with short term expiration. I uh, took out the 92.30, went down to 91.59. This is the lowest close in this whole formation. Uh, again, do I still think it goes lower? It probably does with everything else. But again, the Qs need to uh, confirm the 90. Uh, Netflix got destroyed, absolutely destroyed. Uh, Netflix, uh, 321, if it builds below, uh, can flush. Here is Netflix, Where right? I think we even talked about Netflix last night. It lost to 21, it lost to 14, traded all the way down to 312. This thing loses 312. I think this thing sees 305. Huge move down on Netflix and Zoom, right? Remember we talked about Zoom last night? Zoom 72 is the 50-day support. Any close below starts the next like daily down. Uh, Zoom got absolutely destroyed, right? So here is the 72. We took down this whole range here, traded right to the lows of the day uh, at 69 and change. Uh, you know, look, when stocks break their 50-day moving average, they usually have two, three days worth of selling. Look at Google as a reference point. Right, Google lost its 50-day moving average right here. It had one, two, three, four, five days of selling before it did cat bounce. So Zoom, if this thing starts confirming today's price channel and thing goes lower, uh, probably sees you know 65, 66 in the next uh, next measured potential, which is the low from January uh, the 25th. And I believe that is it. Right, I believe that is it. So that's it, guys. Um, you know, uh, the stage is set, the players are set, the characters are set. We're all set. We're prepared. Uh, tomorrow, again, write this down. You got the 290 area. 
Again, for all you guys who are joining us for the first time tomorrow in the webinar, uh, we start, uh, the webinar is open, broadcasting news and all that stuff. Uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning, um, I come on about 8.45, 9 o'clock, morning strategy starts about 9.15. And believe it or not, we knock everything out the box in that first 15 minutes to get everybody prepared for the day. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And all as God's help, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.